Hello, everyone. I believe now you can see my full, uh, full screen slide, right? Um, yes, hi, I'm, okay. I'm Lead Agro Product Strategy Manager from J Solar. I'm honored to speak with you today, and I will be introducing our new advanced product, Deep Blue 4.0 Pro. Ooh. Well, I have divided my presentation into three main parts. First, I'd, I'd like to talk about PV technologies and trend. And next, I'll introduce the new generation product, the Blue 4.0 Pro. And finally, I will give you the product value analysis. So first, let's start with the first topic, PV technologies. As many of you know, during the past decade, the mainstream cell technology has been advancing from BSF to PERC. Uh, this is PTAP technology. And actually, this PERC technology is still the dominant technology in the market now. And in the year 2022, the mass production of high efficiency N type solar cell began, including Topcom and AJT. Besides, back contact solar cell technology is in development as well. Efficiency has been improving all the way. And in recent years, the efficiency of the perovskite and silicon tandem solar cell has been increasing rapidly. It has become a hot topic in the industry. However, there is still a long way to go before mass production, because you may know the reliability of perovskite cell is still a problem, and it contains some toxic elements. Now the efficiency of mass produced per cell has reached about 24%. You know, this is a really mature technology. So further efficiency improvement and cost reduction spaces are limited. After PERC, the new technology still needs to have the mass production characteristics, such as high efficiency, low cost, good product yield, and so on. Topcon is this kind of technology. So Topcom products will become the mainstream in the market in the near future. Next, I'll show you Jay Solar's cell efficiency roadmap. As you know, Jay Solar is now producing both, both P-type and N-type solar cells. The average efficiency for P-type solar cell in mass production has hit 23.8%. 23, uh, and the efficiency of N-type has reached 25.6% now. Uh, at the same time, other innovative technologies are also in development, including AJT, a bare contact, and tandem solar cell technologies. In terms of market, the main direction is towards N-type, as can be seen from this market share forecast. In the next two years, the P-type perk module will still be the mainstream PV product. At the same time, the proportion of N-type products keep increasing, and it will gradually become the mainstream PV product in, in two years. Next, I'd like to share some information about module technologies. One well, of the important development directions is the high-density encapsulation. As can be seen here, there are very including shingling, tying ribbon, and small gap. The small gap technology takes into account the power improvement, product yield, reliability, and, uh, and also other aspects. Uh, so it will gra uh, gradually become the mainstream of high-density encapsulation technology. In the future, the model design will still pursue the optimal LCOE. To reduce the LCOE, we'll need to further reduce the module cost and further increase the module efficiency and power, power generation performance, and long-term reliability. So what kind of products has J Solar designed for future solar market? Now let's move to the second part and have a look at the new generation N-type products by J Solar. JSolar has always been committed to building a leading brand in the PV industry. As you may know, it, on May the 18th, 2020, we launched the Deep Blue 3.0 series. This started, uh, this started a new chapter for 182 models. 
And three years later, in May this year, we launched our new generation product, Deep Blue 4.0 Pro, which is based on the latest high efficiency N-type cell technology and advanced model technologies. The efficiency is up to 22.5% and the power is up to 630 watts. We now have designed four types of modules with different sizes to meet customer demand for different applications. Next, I'd like to talk about the design concept behind the products. In the market, the mainstream modules are available in 54, 48, uh, 72, and 78 cell versions with different module lengths from 1722 to 2465 millimeters. Well, according to incomplete statistics, there are six kinds of different wafer sizes, as can be seen here, six size. Um, it requires at least three different sizes of wafers to produce the mainstream models for different applications. And Jay Solar released a new generation rectangular wafer solution at SNEC 2023. It solves the industry's difficulty in defining wafer sizes. The wafer size is 182 by 199 millimeters. If we cut it in the middle, we can get the half cell of 182 by 199 cell. And uh, um, using this cell, we may produce this product with a power of 630 watts. We can also cut it a little off center, then we will have a larger half and a smaller half. The larger half is the half cell of 182 by 210 millimeter. And uh, the corresponding product is this module 66 cell version with a power of 610 watts. The smaller half is the half cell of 182 by 188 cell. Then we'll have the 54 and 72 cell versions with a power of 450 and 595 respectively. respectively. The application of the rectangular silicon wafer of this size not only effectively increase the module power, uh, but also makes it possible to, to produce four major standard module products using only one wafer size. Well, compared with the equivalent products in the market, it has significant manufacturing cost advantages and greater customer value. For the entire industry chain and the industry, a single wafer size can avoid wasting resources in the manufacturing process of silicon ingots, wafers, and cells. Furthermore, it allows PV companies to choose the equipment and the materials with the similar specifications for silicon ingots, wafers, cells, and also models. Uh, and a single wafer size will also lead to a standard model size eventually we'll get a lower integration cost and a better system value. Next, let's have a look at the highlights of the Deep Blue 4.0 Pro series. The 72 cell module has the highest power among all modules based on 182 millimeter wafers. The power, as, as mentioned before, up to 630 watts, and this high power will help reduce the LCV and VOS. We have applied multiple advanced cell and model technologies to this product. For example, it is based on Bison Plus solar cell technologies. Uh, actually, it is based on top down technology, but we are using our own formula and name it Bison Plus. It employs JA Solar's low oxygen silicon wafers and selective, selective emitter technology on the front side, optimal surface passivation on both uh, both front and rear surfaces, and also the passivity contact at the back side. Currently, the efficiency of Bison Plus solar cell can achieve over 25.6%, and the uh, uh, open circuit voltage reaches 728 millivolts. They are all at the industry leading level. Besides the leading cell technologies, we have also applied some advanced module technologies. 
for example, the rectangle wafer, SMBB, high density technology, and the better materials. Uh, for rectangular wafers, uh, compared to conventional square wafers, this rectangular wafer enable more efficient use of cell space in the module so we can achieve higher power output and lower cost. And we are using 16 bus bars for this module. By using more and thinner bus bars, we are able to further reduce the shading losses and resist resistive losses. And we can also minimize the impact of broken fingers on electrical performance. So it can also provide, uh, provide higher reliability. Furthermore, small gap high density encapsulation technology has been applied to further incre increase the model efficiency. Finally, we are using uh, advanced, uh, advanced materials with better reliability, like EPE encapsulation films and high strength glass uh, for both sides of the model to enhance the overall reliability. With the new Bison Plus cell technology and the core module technologies, the Blue 4.0 Pro series has excellent reliability. In the extended IEC tests, including LETID, PID, TC, and so on, uh, the power losses were less than 3%, which is much better than the IEC standard, which is a 5% power loss. Last but not least, the Deep Blue 4.0 Pro has excellent power generation ability. It has lower power degradation rate, better temperature coefficient, and higher beneficiality, up to 80%, while for P-type, it's about only 70%, and also better low light performance. And next, let's move to the last part to see the product value of Deep Blue 4.0 Pro. J Solar and TV Nord uh, uh, have conducted an energy yield test in the northwest of China. We have compared the performance of the Blue 4.0 and PTI model. Uh, the results from this demonstration project show that the power generation of the NTI model is 3.9% higher than that of PTI modules. The yellow is for anti module and the blue blue bar is for the p time module. We have also done some simulations to compare the VOS and LCOE of different modules. Compared with p time modules, the Deep Blue 4.0 Pro can reduce the VOS by 2 to 4.5%, and the LCOE can be reduced by 2.5 to 6%. Compared with the original N-type module, the BOS can be uh, reduced by about 2% and the LC can be reduced by about 1%. So the Deep Blue 4.0 Pro series offers significantly significant improvements in system side revenue. Well, in summary, J Solar's new generation rectangle wafer technology provides a better solution for the industry to maximize the value of upstream and downstream. Also, it makes it possible to produce various mainstream modules by using only one wafer size. So it is hoped that this solution will help, will help the PV industry unify the wafer size and standardize module sizes. This will promote the high quality development of the industry and truly achieve a win-win situation for the industry chain and the industry. Well, that's all, all I want to share today. Thanks for your attention.